or hybrid. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of owning this vehicle. This is gonna be a one year ownership video review. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I wanna start with is the styling of this vehicle. I absolutely love how the 22 Honda Accords look compared to the 23s. I am not a big fan. The first thing that I like are the rims the 19 inch two-tone with the black and the chrome absolutely love that i love how the sport comes with the black mirror caps and if you look at the paint job it's hard to tell but it has a little bit of that shine to it just like a little bit of mother of pearl how you can tell this car is a hybrid by looking at the front and you see blue around the honda logo so that's how you know this vehicle is a hybrid so that's the very first thing that i love about this car guys because i own this vehicle i'm not going to sugarcoat it and say everything's great about it just because i own it so i'm going to tell you the real truths about it as well one thing that i don't like about this car it's a feature that it doesn't have folding mirror caps so i wish this car had that feature but it doesn't in this one but like I said, I love how this car is a hybrid vehicle. And if you take a look at the back, you can see it's blue around the Honda logo right there. You have the black spoiler, the black antenna, looks like a shark fin. So styling, 10 out of 10, hybrid, love it. Don't like how there's not power folding mirror caps. Let's hop inside and I'll go over some more. So as we take a look at the interior, this car does have power seats right here. So at least it has that. Only on this side, the passenger side does not have it. And another thing that I do not like about this car is there are no memory seats. So if someone else wants to drive your car and you're 6'1 and they're 5'4, you guys are gonna have to adjust every time. And hopefully you get your setting right because there's no button you can just push that'll go back to your exact setting as you had it on last. Before we go over more on the interior, one feature that I love, whenever you shut the door and you walk away 10 feet, it will go ahead and lock itself. So I like that feature a lot about this car. I wish the windows did fold in when you locked it, like I said earlier, but I like how it does lock itself. That's pretty useful. Bad boy comes to life. It is so quiet, guys all because of the hybrid. It turns on to the EV mode in the beginning, as you can tell right there. And then if you put it in sport mode, everything lights up red. So another feature that I absolutely love that these Hondas come with is this button right here, which is lane assist. Once you push that, you see the lines. Right now, they are white. Once it detects you are in the lane and it will be able to do its thing, that will turn green and the car will slowly drive itself. It will bump itself back into the lane. All you have to do is wiggle the wheel. I love how this has that. My Porsche Macan doesn't have it. My Ram 1500 doesn't have it. That feature is amazing. When you're on country roads and no one's in front of you and you could just chill and drive. So the very next thing that I absolutely love about this car is brake hold. So to get this feature to work, you have to have your seatbelt on. And once you put your seatbelt on and you push this button right here, brake hold, you'll see a green light right there saying brake hold is activated. When you're at red light or a stop sign, you could just push that button, take your foot off the brake pedal and just relax until it goes green again. And then once it does, or once you're at a stop sign and you can go, you just push the gas and it'll turn off and you can just start driving. So this particular trim, which is the sport trim, it does not have heating seat or cooling seat and where I live it gets pretty cold sometimes drops all the way down to 10 degrees so have heated seats would be very useful and a day like this that's 69 degrees the ventilated seats would come in handy guys so I wish this car had heated or ventilated seats doesn't it is the sport trim but that's just something you pay for the price that you get this car for one thing that I absolutely love as well is the entertainment unit guys this thing is touch screen and it's pretty responsive. I like how it has a couple of features right here. I like how you have the AC controls there and not everything's up in the top. So the entertainment unit is pretty cool. 
that's one thing that I do like about this car a lot is the Honda Accord Entertainment Unit. So one thing about the Honda that I absolutely hate, especially with this car, is the sound system, guys. The sound system is very, very weak in this car. I wish I upgraded the sound system. Maybe one day I will if I keep this car long enough. But the sound system on this car is pretty horrible. Just telling you the truth. Just that's my opinion, guys, on this vehicle. I do not like the sound system at all. I definitely give it a 1 out of 10. My Volkswagen Passat was way better than this thing, especially the MDX. I love driving the MDX and putting the volume really high, especially when you're heading to the gym. But this car, it does not get you in the mood when you need to get crunk for the gym. As we take a look at the top, I do like how this Honda has a spot for your glasses. I put two in there at the moment but it can fit too, so I like how it has that. Not a lot of cars have this feature, but there's no garage opener, guys. There's no button for that, and I wish this car did have the garage opener, so I have to do it the old school way with the button right there. So let's take this car out for a drive. We'll put it in econ mode, EV mode, and sport mode. This car has 190 horsepower, it's not the most powerful, it is a hybrid. But it still has good pickup and it is a lot of fun to drive. So let's go ahead and take it on out. Now we're inside the 2022 Honda Accord Hybrid. We're going to take it out for a drive. As you can tell with the hybrid, it has the battery life on the left, which is different. And it has the gas tank on the right. And then as you can see right there, it looks a little bit interesting because it shows you how much battery you guys have and how much you are using up. But this car, I love the drive, guys. I love this steering wheel. It's nice and thick, and it's solid. It's not like the MDX where I can just whip it around. It takes a little bit more force turning it, but man, for being a hybrid, this car drives so great, as you can tell. So it has 190 horsepower, and it is slow because I do have cars that are way faster than this, but for 190 and it being a hybrid, it's not that bad, guys. So I definitely love the drive of this car. I recommend it 10 out of 10. I'm glad it doesn't have the traditional gear lever. Some of the Accords do, but not this one. So you have park, reverse, neutral, drive. And then you have econ button, sport button, and EV button. So if you push EV button, sometimes it'll say EV is not available, but let's go ahead and put it in sport mode, guys. Everything turns red and it's a lot more quicker and you can hear the sound as well. Let's go ahead and put it back on econ mode and it shows you right there on the left. And then let's see if EV mode works now. Push that button and it says EV mode is on. So that's another thing I love about this car guys. I bought it because it is a hybrid. I do have other vehicles that aren't hybrids. The Porsche Macan, the Acura MDX, and the Ram 1500. So it's nice to have one hybrid vehicle on the fleet. So driving wise guys, I give this car 10 out of 10. I love how it has brake hold. When you're at the red light, you can just relax. And then once the cars go, you push the gas pedal and the car will take off for you. It's one thing I like about it. I just made it back home. Let's turn the car off. Grab my key. So that's my one year ownership review of this car. As I walked away, the car will lock and beep. I just gave you guys the truth, my honest opinion, what I think about it. I have the 5% tin on the side and 50% on the front with the black and white, gives it that aggressive mean look. If you guys are looking into buying a 2022 Honda Accord Hybrid with the sport trim, give this car 10 out of 10, even though I did name a couple of things I didn't like about it but in the end I still love this vehicle especially for the price you can get this thing at MSRP for $32,000 hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys subscribe like the video so much more coming ahead